Courtney just won here over Brittany. Courtney, of course, is the younger four sister. Brittany got a little antsy there. What happened there? You know, I don't think I've ever gone red in my A-field car, but I'm up against her, and she's very competitive. Like I said earlier, just like my dad, it's in the blood, and I guess I was just couldn't wait any longer. I had to get down the track. <laughs> All right, and Courtney, how excited are you going to your first final round? I'm so excited. I, I was so excited to be racing my sister in the semis, and, you know, my dad's in the semis, and we're just really excited to get the Stanio top alcohol dragster in the final for the first time, so will be there supporting me with brand source casual for triple a and you know the ronald mcdonald house charity so we got them on our car and we're really excited and this is our first time so a fourth yeah <laughs> hopefully dad will too well i'm sure there'll be other chances for you guys to go against each other and Brittany, maybe you'll get her next time Thanks. now we can quickly update that story courtney is the only force member left in Seattle in a final. John did get beat. So it's time now for our top alcohol funny car final. There's Doug Gordon's road to the final on the other side of the racetrack. Roger Bateman. Now Doug Gordon has lifted the trophy three times. Roger Bateman never has. This is obviously his next best chance. We had Roger on the show from Las Vegas. He went to the final, lost to Tony Bartone. We had him final the All-Stars, lost to Frank Manzo, won a couple of divisional racers, and he's got the best race car from a performance standpoint, but only by a smidgen over the Gordon family. Not going to happen today in Seattle for Roger Bateman as Doug Gordon collects his fourth national event win, 557-258. That's great numbers. And the team is pumped up back on the starting line. Congratulations to Doug, to Dad Mike, to Mom Cheryl, to Antonio Garcia, Mike Shugart, everybody on that team. Roger Bateman's car, you saw him that early round. He came out, shook the tires, got off the throttle and got back on and was able to save it, but not that time. Just a little bit too much tire shake, a little bit too much Doug Gordon. And Doug goes sailing on down the racetrack and a much well-deserved win for the family. And check out the reaction. Yeah, you heard it. Courtney Forrest, Chris Demke, our final race here in Seattle. But first, let's check in with a happy winner. You just won your fourth NHRA Wally. How excited are you right now? Oh, man, I'm so excited. It's been it's been 03 since we've won a national event. We ran really good at Pomona this year and didn't couldn't pull it out. And I knew Roger was due for a national event win. He's so good and hasn't won one. I thought for sure this was probably going to be his time. But, you know, Dad kept the car running good. I was hopefully driving okay all day. I just want to thank my dad, my mom, Mike, Antonio, Lucas Oil, my wife, Christina, Madison, Macy, Taylor. It's just, this is exciting. Congratulations on your win here in Seattle. Thank you. Woo! Well, you know, Doug, it may have been a long gap for you. It's been even longer for Chris Demke, who's been to seven finals still without a win. The good news is, whether it be Chris Demke or Courtney Force, we will have a first-time national event winner. And a matchup between car and team that are obviously getting a lot of attention, the fuel-injected race car, Jerry Darry, and the crew chief to the stars. And on the other side, Chris Demke and the team. There's Jerry right out in front of the race car. And over here on the right side for Chris Demke and his team, his brother Mike and the rest of the team and stepfather Jerry Matter. And I mean, they've got a very solid race car here. And it's gonna be, it should be a evenly matched pair if nobody shakes the tires like we saw Roger do. Demke rolls straight in. We're away. Courtney way first. And it will be Courtney Forbes who takes the win. You see mom's reaction. You see dad's reaction. You can hear the crowd back cheering. Force wins her first national event top alcohol dragster. How about that? The crowd really does go wild. They're very popular. Boy, John is pumped up down in the starting line along with Mom. Ashley there, as you mentioned, the fourth team looked like they were going to have a very good day in the pro classes. They wound up on the shoulders of Courtney here today, and she finally closes the deal and gets that first ever national event round win. And boy, they really did go excited back on the line. And Chris Demke's car just had that problem with the supercharger at the end of the racetrack. And we said earlier, you got to keep those cars running all the way down, just like you got to keep the eight fuel cars hidden on all eight, just like Courtney did. A dramatic day comes to a close. When we come back, we'll talk to Top Alcohol Dragster's newest winner, Courtney Force. Lucas Oil Bright Racing Series, brought to you by Lucas Oil. Made in America, sold to the world. Back where Courtney Force becomes the tenth woman to raise a trophy in Top Alcohol Dragster, and she's at the far end with Julie. Con congratulations, Courtney, on your first NHRA win. What was going through your mind up there at the starting line? Um, I don't know. I was just really nervous, and, you know, I was just trying to make sure it was just like any other race, and 
I can't even believe that we got the win. I'm so excited. I was just trying to make make it seem like it was the first round, so I didn't get too nervous. But I can't even believe. You know, we decorated ne Mike Neff's trailer with Feng Shui theme, and apparently it ended up working with our team. So that's fine with me. I'm just happy to get this Daniel Dragster out into the final round, into the winner's circle with Castro for a AAA brand source. We got Ronald McDonald charity on our card. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much. You only have to win 124, 125 more races to tie with your dad. I got a lot, a long way to go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a day. Hey, more drag racing tonight. The finals, the Fram Auto Light Nationals tonight at 9. Our next Lucas Oil Series race comes your way Sunday, August the 23rd from Brainerd. For Bob Fry, Julie Stepp, and our entire ESPN2 crew, I'm Dave Reed. Congratulations, Courtney Force and Doug Gordon. The big winners today, the Pacific Northwest. We'll see you next time.